Hi, welcome to this quick video about a new update to workshop software that helps you manage your internal invoices a whole lot better and easier. So what we've done is we've added a functionality for you to be able to do invoices where you are not basically not charging the customer. So it could be rework, it could be unapplied time, it could be work on your own vehicles, it could be maintenance and cleaning, anything that you want in that sort of respect. Now, what I'll do is if I just jump into a invoice here, and I'm gonna go off and do uh, an internal invoice in this instance. So I've just chosen the customer and the vehicle, uh, and what you'll notice here is that on the right hand side, it's got this internal invoice. If I turn that on as yes, it means that that invoice then gets flagged as an internal invoice. Now, basically from there, nothing changes, everything else is pretty much the same, but what that does is it does some important reporting, right? So if I then go and put labor on here and I'm gonna call, call it you know, internal work or something like that. Now, what I could do is I could um, save this as a job and then, for example, I can clock on and clock off. Maybe this is just unapplied time. Maybe we call this unapplied time, for example. And this becomes your unapplied time, uh, you know, job card that you've got generally running in your workshop. And maybe you close that every month, every week, whatever whatever time frame that you want. So you probably set up a customer and call them unapplied time. Don't even have to have a vehicle if you don't want to. Um, so you just have a, you know, create yourself a customer, a couple of internal customers if you want. You don't have to. That's entirely up to you. But this internal work, note that, in this instance, I've charged a dollar value. Now that will actually go into your accounting system, that sort of stuff. Um, so you might need to do a journal in your accounting system, for example. Um, but you know that's up to you as to how you want to handle that. You could make the price zero if you wanted to. That's entirely up to how you want to operate. But if you wanted to see what the actual cost of some of your internal work is, you can do that as well. So you can say, okay, well, I fitted this part onto our own, you know, uh, courtesy car, for example, and it costs you know, a hundred dollars, I'm going to maybe charge that out at a hundred dollars and sort of effectively charging it to yourself. So, uh, that's kind of how that sort of side of it works. I, it, and from there on, like I say, pretty standard job, clock on and clock off your mechanic times to it, all of that sort of stuff. So let's actually just go and put some mechanic times on here. And we're going to say now, of course you would use the app. Um, but in this instance, I'm just going to uh, manually say that the guy started at 10 and um, finished at 12, let's say, right? Um, so if I go save that and then just go back to the invoice, uh, those labor times are saved and you know there's two hours of labor on here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna process it to show you what the reports do. Now, what you might do in reality is keep that open. If that were, for example, uh, maintenance or unapplied time, like I say, you might keep that open for a week, a month, a day, that's entirely up to you. We're just gonna go save there and uh, process this um, actual transaction, right? So now I'm gonna, gonna go and process that and the invoice is processed. Now, what I wanna show you now is in the reports, there are a number of changes to the way that the reports work. So now under sales report, for example, what we've got is this option to say internal only. So I can say, I only wanna see my internal sales. So for example, if I go back a couple of months and I go back to today, we might find that that's the only one transaction that I've done, which is this one transaction because I've said internal only. If I wanted to get no internal or I wanted to get all, I can also get all of those transactions and they will all be outputted um, and all my transactions get outputted. So you can identify which ones are internal and which ones aren't, or I might not want to include internal. So I only want to include the actual customer uh, transactions basically, so all customers where I've kind of done it at a, at a retail sale level. So the internal option is also available on the sales breakup report, so the same thing applies, all internal only or no internal, and similarly on the item sales report. So you've got it on those three main sales reports there. Now what we've also got is under the mechanics reports, in the mechanic performance, you can actually show that as well. So you've got all internal or no internal. So this is great where you wanna say, okay, where is my internal? internal work gone against mechanics. So again, if I go back, uh, let me just go back for the last day or so and do it now and I'll do it all. Now, of course, this probably only got one transaction on there, which was this actual job that we did. 
and uh, you know the charge and the cost and all that sort of business. Now I can say I only want internal only, and of course this is actually internal, right? So it shows us that the total of internal. So if I wanted to get the value of the internal, I can get that out and I can get that as a profit per hour and effective labor rate and things like that against my actual mechanic performance. So uh, a great report there again against the mechanic performance. So that's the uh, wrap up of the internal uh, invoice management. So unapplied time, rework, etc. Um, I think that's relatively straightforward. The process is generally the same as what you would do with a retail sale. Just tick that box that says uh, make it internal only and then it will change the status on all of the reports. So hope you love it. Uh, thanks for watching and thank you again for using Workshop Software.